Greetings to you, brothers and sisters. A warm greetings to all our young people and children. I welcome you all to our time of worship. I'd like to commend all our young people and children for their commitment and resilience throughout this tough time. And be rest assured of our prayer and support as you continue with your pursuit in life. So today we'll be talking about some young people that made decisions or choices in their lives. And this decision did not just affect their lives, but it affected the life of the whole nation. Today we'll be talking about Daniel and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And our scripture today is taken from the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verse 8. And I read, But Daniel resolved that he will not defile himself with the royal rations of food and wine. So he asked the palace master to allow him not to defile himself. Daniel is a hero in the Bible, a very young person. He was taken into captivity with his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, by King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. And there in Babylon, they served King Nebuchadnezzar with loyalty and discipline, but they still remain faithful to their own God and their religious belief. While they serve the king in his palace, at different points they have to make choices that will help them stay faithful to their own God and to their own beliefs. And one of the choices they made was not to eat the wicked king's food because of their own religious beliefs and because of their love for God. At the end of the story, we heard that God rewarded Daniel and his friends with wisdom and knowledge more than any other person in the king's palace. Then their second choice while they served King Nebuchadnezzar was not to worship him or his idol because of their love for God and what they actually believed in. And what I found so interesting in this scenario was how they responded to King Nebuchadnezzar. They told King Nebuchadnezzar that even if their God chooses not to save them from his hand, they will never worship his idol or uh, himself. At the end of the story, God saved them from the fire and King Nebuchadnezzar was so amazed by how powerful their God is and how these young people loved their own God. So he immediately made a decree in the nation that nobody should make mockery of Daniel's God. Daniel lived a life of faithfulness to God despite challenges and mockery from the king's palace and so many people around him. So today, looking at our own country and looking at our world today in 2020, what decisions or choices do you think Daniel will have to make? Let us put Daniel in our context today. Let's put Daniel in our 21st century. He will be in one of our primary schools, in a secondary school, or he will even be at UWE or BCC. And he will be that student that will always remember his Christian values and he will definitely stick to it. He will be that student that will not mix himself with bad company and for sure he will not be a bully nor troublemaker to his schoolmates or even to his teachers. He will choose to come to church and join online services, not because somebody is forcing him to do it or because his parents are asking him to go to church but just because he wants to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So I encourage us young people to make good choices and decisions that will help us stay faithful to God. And I encourage us to do the right thing not because we are expecting any reward or somebody is forcing us to do so, but because it is the right thing to do. Let us live a very good life, a life of good example so that Jesus Christ will be seen manifest in us. Amen. Let us pray. Precious God, we thank you for the life of our young people and children. We pray for your guidance upon them and your spirit will reign upon their lives. Continue to guide them in their decision making. Continue to guide them in their studies. For in Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Now is our time for praise and worship, and I invite Pastor Nicholas and David to join us as we worship God.
our first song will be I Love You Jesus, deep down in my heart. But before we start, there will be some steps that we have to learn. So we'll be going through them slowly until we get comfortable with them. Okay? So the steps are I love you, Jesus, deep down in my heart. I love you, Jesus, deep down in my heart. Talk about deep, deep, down, down, deep down in my heart. Talk about deep, deep, down, down, deep down in my heart. The second verse will be, I love you, Jesus, come into my heart. And the only difference is, is that we'll be saying, come into my heart. Okay? So now that we have it down pat, I'll invite us to stand as we get to sing. After three, two, three. I love you, Jesus, deep down in my heart. I love you, Jesus, deep down in my heart. Talk about deep, deep, down, down, deep down in my heart. Talk about deep, deep, down, down, deep down in my heart. I love you, just come in. I love you, Jesus, come into my heart. I love you, Jesus, come into my heart. I love you, Jesus. Come into my heart, talk about come, come in, in, come into my heart, talk about come, come in, in, come into my, come into my heart, come into my heart. All right, so for our second song, we're going to be doing some fishing. As we sing the song, I will make you fishers of men. So follow along as we learn the actions, okay? It goes. I will make you fishers of men. Are you pulling it back in? Fishers of men. Fishers of men. I will make. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow. If you follow me. If you follow me. If you follow me. I will make you. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Okay? So I think we have it done, guys. Yes, please. Alright, so now full speed. After three, two, three. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men. Hausa language? Good, yeah? Yes, why not? Okay, great. Alright, so guys, we're going to learn the song together. Uh, I'm going to uh, tell you the lyrics. The lyrics is Zan Meshe U Manzanina. So we're going to sing the Manzanina three times. Then at the end, we're going to say Inkumbiyoni. David, did you get that? Inkumbiyoni? Inkumbiyoni. It could be uni. Yes, man. Good, Nick. Like riding a bike. All right. So let's sing together. After three, two, three. Zane sheku manzanina, manzanina, manzanina. Zane sheku manzanina, ibosiyoni. Ibu 
<laughs> yes, ma'am. So I think we can sing at full speed now. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yes. And let's have some fun. All right. Two, three, sing.